Anyhow, this person recognizes just how great you are, Virgo. They're loving it. And then they're coming in with big father energy. So whether they have children or not, they see a future of having children with you, Virgo. Welcome, charming, beautiful Virgos, to your love tarot reading. For those who are new, I'm Black Bunny Tarot, aka Namaste with Lei. And I am very much looking forward to diving into these messages from spirit to you today. Now, Virgo, because it's in the three days following the Libra full moon, the full moon serves as a great time to release the things no longer serving you. If there is something you would like to release with this full moon, go ahead and drop it, affirming it to the universe in the comments below. And while I begin to shuffle the deck, I ask that you visualize the person and or situation that you're wishing to receive clarification on. Beautiful. And it would not be right to not first. chakra frequency to commence your love tarot reading. Spirit, please show my beautiful Virgos what it is that they need to see. Spirit, please, what messages do you have for my earthly grounded Virgos. All right, one flew out, so we're gonna take one more from the top, one more from the bottom. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, manifesting, are we, Virgo? Okay, let me preface this reading by saying this is a general love reading. If you would like a reading that is specific to you, your person, your situation, you can find all of the information to book me in the description box below. Okay, okay. First up here, Virgo, we have the Nine of Wands. I love to see the Nine of Wands. It's all about divinity to me. You have the three, three, three. The power of manifestation is at your hands. You are feeling grounded at this time, Virgo. You may be currently in a position of leadership, whether that be in your job um, or in your current partnership or relationship. Um, you may be the one who handles the finances or the one who's doing the house hunting or the apartment hunting. Uh, you're always looking for the next big thing. You have leader written all over you at this time. And with that, in being in this leadership, leadership position, you also have the power of manifestation. Some of you are very much into advertising. You're trying to make things happen ASAP. And clear message from spirit. Think of your projects and of yourself as a plant growing. On the day-to-day, -day, you may not see that it is flourishing, but if you were to take a camera and see a time lapse, you'll see that it is moving, it is growing in its divine time. So everything is happening for you now, Virgo, in divine timing. I love to see this. Next here, we have the Knight of Wands come out in verse. And now more wands here, more manifesting, but I'm getting the sense that this is someone in your circle, in your workplace, or a romantic partnership situationship of someone who's coming in or already came in with a false offer. Now the knight, he is of course more mature than the page. However, the knight comes in as the hero to save the day. You'll see in most fairy tales, the knight comes in on his black steed, his black horse, and then saves the day and carries her off into the sunset. But you never see what the knight's doing the next day. He might have just saved her for the camera and then kept it pushing to the next person, okay? That's what I get when I see knight energy. They're brave, they're heroic, but they don't necessarily have longevity. And especially with this knight of wands being in verse, this can indicate someone in your life who is slow moving with offers, with bringing this relationship to fruition. Um, or this can also be you 
feeling a bit stuck in matters of business or a relationship. Please apply it as it resonates with you, Virgo. And now some more earth energy. Some of you Virgos are dealing with a Venetian, a Taurus here. We have some Taurus energy coming out strong, the Hierophant. This could also be you, Virgo. Simply, all of these wands here, I always look at this as a wand as well. I know it's more of a cane, but the Hierophant is an oracle. Um, these people are commonly tarot readers, psychics, clairvoyants, clairaudience gifts, um, highly empathetic. And because of this, you may be spending a little more time barefoot in the grass, just grounding yourself from all of the energies that are surrounding you at this time, especially if you're in that position of leadership. Now, this can also indicate extreme spiritual awakening, either with you or with your person. And you may have known this person for five years, five months, met on the 5th, met in May. Please apply it as it resonates. And some of you are going to be getting on a plane. Some of you are going across the pond, okay? Some of you are going to England, to London. I see you. All right, let's see what's going on with your person. We'll use this Mystic Mondays deck. If you're ever interested in any of the decks I use, by the way, they're always listed below, as well as ways to donate to the channel. So if this reading is resonating, please don't hesitate to like, comment, share, subscribe, drop a donation. Seriously, no donation is too small. I appreciate you all so, so much. Uh, all right, well, there's your person's energy. And guess who's in your person's energy? You are with the hanged woman because that's you, Virgo. Two major arcana came out in your person's energy, the emperor and the hanged woman. This is Virgo energy and this is Aries energy. So some of you are dealing with an Aries, Virgo. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Some of you are dealing with an Aries. Some of you are dealing with both. I could see it, fire and earth. Mm. But your person, clearly this is how they see you. Queen of Cups. They see you in your position of leadership, whether that, I don't care if you, if you're the CEO of a Fortune 500 company or if you run your household of four children, you are the Queen of Cups. Don't let anyone tell you differently, okay? And your person sees this. They see your value, your worth, all that you can bring to the table. They recognize, heck, you are the table. You know what I'm saying? I said that in, um, in Sagittarius' reading. Speaking of which, I still have their name up on the back. I'm so sorry, Virgo. This is your reading. Anyhow, this person recognizes just how great you are, Virgo. They're loving it. And then they're coming in with big father energy. So whether they have children or not, they see a future of having children with you, Virgo. Okay? This person wants to have children with you. If you already have children, they want to blend families. Ooh, I love me some emperor. I love me some Aries. All right, and then the hanged woman. So your person, if they haven't made it clear just how special you are to them, how they see you, they may be slow moving. And if they're this Taurus, they're definitely slow moving, almost at snail speed. And it's because they're sitting here in their head trying to figure out how do I come correct to my Virgo because he or she is so intelligent. They could rip me a new one if they wanted to, but I am in love with this person. How do I tell them without, one, scaring them away, two, getting my own heart broken potentially? This is really sweet, This how this person feels for you, Virgo. I mean, I don't, I'm not getting any like third party situation. If there is a third party, you're the one entertaining more than one person. Your person has eyes for you, okay? All right. Let's lastly pull a message from the Lover's Oracle. Spirit, please. Here's the illustration on the front and on the back it reads, healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. 
Mm. So for some of you, that's why they see your worth. They've been with you. I, this is a late message. If you're still here, this is specifically for those who've been in a relationship with this person and maybe you weren't validated or appreciated. And now your person, they've, they've grown. They've leveled up spiritually and they see all that you brought to the table. And now they're just trying to figure out how to get you back for some of you. And for others, they're trying to figure out how to save their marriage. I really love this. I also do couples readings if you're ever interested. Um, once again, all the information to book me is in the description box below. Beautiful Virgos. Once again, apologies that it says Sagittarius, but I don't believe in coincidence. The fact that it still says that means that you could potentially be dealing with a Sagittarius or have some Sagittarius in your chart or someone who's a Sag is coming into your life. No such thing as coincidence. So, beautiful grounded virgos i am sending you into the rest of your week the rest of your 2021 with all of the love higher knowledge spiritual evolution and happiness that you are so deserving of namaste